back with Colin Jost. His book is called A Very Punchable Face. Um, it's very funny. You, uh, we learn a lot about you, and you talk about your family. Your mom was chief medical officer for New York Fire Department on 9-11. Yeah, that's right. She, she was the chief medical officer. She worked with the fire department for 40 years uh, to the day. And um, she was there and uh, very luckily survived um, both towers falling down and stayed on the scene and, and helped, um, helped treat firefighters that day and for many weeks after that. And so uh, it was a very, uh, she did a lot of, a lot of great things for for the people on the fire department. That's incredible. You should be so proud of her. I mean, that's that's unbelievable. Um, yeah. you, you also, you've been on uh, SNL for 16 years, and you uh, seem to imply in the last chapter of the book that you're going to leave SNL soon. Is is that real? Is, are you? Has Lauren read this book? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he really reads cast members' books. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know exactly. I don't have a real timeline. I just mean like I started to potentially psychologically brace for the concept of leaving, which I hadn't really done. Um, and I don't really know. I certainly quarantine makes you uh, appreciate having any job. <laughs> and I, uh, and, and, and very much appreciating having friends that you get to work with and enjoy seeing. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly no rush to leave, but, uh, at some point, there's other things I want to do, and that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to do. Well, I love you on the show, and uh, I would miss you if you left, but I, you're so talented. You're so funny, and I, there's many things you could do, I'm sure. Um, you're super smart, too. I, I mean, I, I thought you were smart, um, but I, you went to Harvard, and uh, so you're a smart man, and yet you were on the weakest link uh, back when it was on in 2002 originally, you did not do well on that, right? <laughs> I didn't do great, no. Um, I got, I would say, I don't know, 80% of the questions wrong. Uh, you know, there was a moment in the show where, where between each round, the voiceover would come and tell you who the statistical weakest link was in each round. And I was statistically the weakest link in every round. <laughs> and the questions that I got wrong were so humiliating. Because first of all, I had never been on TV. I'd never been in a TV studio. Uh, and I was like immediately so thrown. But I never watched the show previously, so I didn't know how the game worked. So it was like communal. So it would come to you, and you had to say the word bank to bank all the money the other contestants had been winning before it got to you. Every time they'd be like, Colin, it was my chance. And I'd be like, yes. And they'd be like, you didn't bank the money. And I was like, no. So I'd watch all, every other contestant must have hated me. I lost all their money. Then they'd ask a question. And I was so rattled from having lost all the money. They'd be like, one question was, what season is August in? And I was like, uh, fall. <laughs> <laughs> and just, the, you could tell the, the host was just like, Jesus, man, what is wrong with you? And well, I'm also wearing a Harvard sweatshirt. Oh it's so humiliating. It's really, it's truly humiliating. And, and then the, the, I, the, the horrible thing was then I, I, I lost all these rounds, but then I won at the end. And I actually won the whole show, even though I was the worst contestant. And they did exit interviews with the other contestants. And all the other contestants were like, he can't be this dumb. He must have been playing a deeper game. He must have been gaming the system. Like, he knew how to work it, and that way he would win in the end. And I was like, wow, they are giving me so much more credit than I deserve. Wow. Thank you so much. But that would be humiliating to be wearing a Harvard sweatshirt as you're not getting the questions right. That's a. Uh... It was the closest I've come to the Far Side cartoon where uh, someone's wearing a school for the gifted and, and pushing on a pole door. Uh -huh. it was, that, was, that was my, my equivalent, for sure. All right, well, here's what we did. Surprise, we brought the weak, weakest link here, and later in the show, we are going to play, you and I. <laughs> oh, no! Yes. Be so bad. Yes, well, listen, no, no, I didn't go to Harvard, I didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> and I barely paid attention in school. I'm not good school. at trivia. No, I'm horrible at all of it, so I don't know why I agree to play, but I'm doing it. A Very Punchable Face, a memoir is out now. Everyone in our audience is getting a copy, and we'll be right back. <laughs>